Hello guys, welcome back. Okay, on the previous part we just learned about what you mean by a C preprocessor. So I know that you have no idea about what you mean by C preprocessor. So uh, the preprocessor will give you four functionalities in a C program. First one is the macros, second one is the uh, file inclusion, third one is the miscellaneous directives and for one is the conditional compilation okay now we are going to learn about each of these concepts separately so the first uh, functionality provided by the C preprocessor is the uh, macros so in this pro uh, here I'm going to demonstrate what you mean by a macros in C program so it is better to, uh, it is better to understand the uh, usage of macros with a complete working example so here in this program I'm going to create a macro and how to use it in a program. So here I'm going to create a macro in C program. So before going to uh, learn about what you mean by macro, you just uh, just see this example, and after this example, uh, I will explain what is the actual use of macros in a C program. So here is the syntax of defining a macro in C program. First you have to put the hash symbol and you have to provide the keyword hash define. Define is a keyword. Define is a keyword used to define a macro in a C program. Hash define. Here I uh, here I'm going to define the first macro in this program. I name the macro as H. This is called the macro template. H is the macro template. And now I have to provide the value for this macro. I provide the value for this macro is 25. So 25 is the macro expansion. So this is the this is a simple macro definition in a C program. So H is the macro template and 25 is the micro expansion for that particular template so there is no need to insert any semicolon after this because this is not a statement this is just a micro definition okay here I'm going to create another micro as define as define place I just define under macro has defined place and put the value for that Kerala okay now in this program that contain two macros first one is H and second one is place okay so now I'm going to use the two macros in this program so in main method I just make a statement like this print of I am percentage D years of old and I am from percentages. I just make made a print of statement. I am just percentage D years of old and I am from percentages. So for the first variable, first first percentage D, I use the macro template. So the macro template is H. And the second, for the second variable percentages, it's a string. So here I use the second micro template. It is place. Okay, this is the symbol usage of a macro in a program. So in this program, I define two macros, H and place. And on the main method, I use that macros in a print of statement. So I save the program. I compile the program. So, sorry, here is an unwanted symbol. So I compile the program again. Now the program is uh, seems to be fine. And now I am going to run it. We got the output. I am 25 years old and I am from Kerala. This is the simple usage of a macro in a C, pre, in a C program. So in the previous part, I already told you that before getting the program to the compiler, the pre the C preprocessor do some action on the program. So first, the preprocessor check the enter program, scan the enter program for any micro template. So here in this program, of course, 
there are two macro templates are available age and place so before convert before hand over this program to the uh, compiler the macro preprocessor will replace all the macro template with its macro expansion so here 25 is the macro expansion for the macro template age and Kerala is the macro expansion for the macro template place so the micro preprocessor will convert this statement into hello I am percentage D ESO fault and I am from percentages and instead of age the micro preprocessor will use the corresponding macro expansion for age the expansion for age is 25 and instead of this macro template place it is use the corresponding macro expansion the macro expansion for place is Kerala so here it is use Kerala so this is the actual process done by a micro preprocessor C preprocessor so after uh, after performing the macro expansion the macro the C preprocessor hand over that particular intermediate format code to the compiler and again the compiler will convert that particular uh, expanded code into corresponding object code and finally the linker will convert into .exe and we got the output from the exe file that is the actual working of a C program that contains some macro expansion so the macro preprocessor will scan the entire program for any macro template if there is no macro template is available on a program then there is no need to make any expansion so if there is any uh, if there is there are some micro template are present in a program the micro preprocessor will uh, expand all that particular micro micro template with its corresponding macro uh, expansion so that is the use of a uh, preprocessor in a C program so this is a simple program that contain uh, two macros and here in this program on the main method I use that two macro template in this program okay uh, so this is the simple syntax of macro definition so here there are two macros age and places are available uh, also it is uh, better to define all the macro definition before all the function definition so here um, I define the macros before the main method it is a better programming practice to use the uh, macro definition uh, above all the function definitions also it is uh, better to use a capital letter for macro template that is a good program practice to use capital letter for uh, macro template it is optional you can also use small letter to define macro template there is no problem but it is a good programming practice to use capital letter to define macro template so you can easily understand the macros from an enter program so if you are using a small letter and capital letter combined with a macro then it is difficult to understand uh, the difference between macro and variables in a C program this is a simple program that demonstrate the usage of micros in C program. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.